call this betrayal? It is betrayal, yes. Should he, should he, have, should he have just stayed away from it completely? the president yeah it's it's a very interesting question uh trevor <laughs> it's about as a person as a leader what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind mm -hmm. i think the danger of an outgoing president uh actively endorsing and campaigning for somebody especially who they have not been with you know obama case was different obama janet never supported hillary throughout the primaries that's true he waited He's in the Democratic Party. He was not even in the leadership of the Democratic Party. He waited until the primaries were done. And whoever the delegates chose as their mm -hmm. presidential candidate, he said, you know what? I endorse this person. Yeah. Kenya is very, very strange, where the government of the day, the ruling party, has joined the opposition. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's very, very, very strange. It's never happened before. Uh, and if you take the example of former President Moy, he found <coughs> himself in that position where he took a stand. He went against the grain because there was a succession plan within, mm -hmm. within Kanu. You know, there was Saitoti, there was Kalonzo Musioka, there was Musalia Mudavadi, there was Kamodo. There was a whole succession plan in the vice presidents in Kanu that day. And all of a sudden, one day, he woke up a few months to the election and he decided, I'm not going to follow any of these guys who have been with me. So he betrayed them. I think Raila Odinga was also, was also there. And, and, and he picked someone who had pretty much never been elected anywhere before, which was our current president, Uhuru Kenyatta, and say, this is going to be your president. And he ran with it. And Kenyans revolted. And what happened is it completely destroyed Moy's legacy and embarrassed him. Because even during the inauguration on December 30th of 2002, people were stoning him. Mm -hmm. Instead of giving him a good send off and saying you've done 24 years, mze and okapumzike, people stoned him. They sang Yote as a kind of uh, no. Bila Moy because the Kenyans really felt betrayed and said, listen, you're pushing something down our throat. Okay. And we think that's what the president is doing right now. He's pushing something down our throat. And yeah. Kenyans are saying, listen, why don't you allow us? to make our own choice. Okay. So I think if I was the president, I'd have chosen to go the legacy way and said, listen, I've been your president for 10 years. I have done my bit. And, and which is a very good quality of a leader is to just know when to move on. Okay. I mean, Trevor, I'm seeing in the newspapers, and I'm not in Azimio, so I'm not quite sure. But I see in the newspapers that now they want to split government three ways, and Uhuru will get part of that government. Come on, he's run government for 10 years. What more do you want? A third okay. for another 10 